Hello everybody, welcome back to Cougar City Gaming Podcast. Today is us, myself, Cougars Bay, JPY248, MFQ Genocide, and Bob and Weaving11. And we're going to talk to you guys a little bit about um, what we think the trial is going to be and just um, what, you know, we could see in trials later on um, if we were given a choice. So, um, what do you guys think the, the new trial is going to be like? Hard. Well, I mean, hard. <laughs> well figured. I figured as much. It's probably going to be challenging. There's probably going to be some mechanics we haven't seen. Probably yeah. going to be some recycled mechanics. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I mean, we're we're going in Necrom. We're going in, you know, with uh, with uh, Mr. Eyeball. Uh, yeah. You know, all, all his knowledge. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we. Uh, you know, maybe there's a timer like. Because, because he's all about knowledge, right? So, what if we have to, you know, we're on a timer to to complete certain mechanics because we're going to go crazy if we don't like read a book or get a piece of knowledge or or something like that. I, I don't know, something something goofy like that. Like three people have to go and kill this enemy and bring back like a like a page of a book and we're putting a book together again and then a boss fight or something. oh that's uh, that's actually pretty fun so then we, then to like cast a spell at execute to kill the, to kill the, to kill the yeah the boss. the boss i don't know, Wait, you know that's cool thing. actually bob what like pick me pick me pick me <laughs> bob, bob gave me an idea pick me. yes <laughs> go ahead jp <laughs> so no <laughs> piggybacking off of what bob said knowledge in mind okay so imagine like let's just this just tell me how fun this would be okay so he takes over your mind right because like you didn't complete the quest and the penalty i wouldn't want to call it like a straight wipe mechanic because those aren't fun anyways but the fight gets significantly harder because he takes over the mind of one of your teammates and it's complete rng good luck if he gets your main tank you're done Obviously, there would be a white <laughs> RNG, but and, and then you have to. Fun. No, I, I there is a mechanic like that. I think in World of Warcraft, I can't remember the fight, but like you had to actually kill your teammates to free them. But oh. imagine like that. Oh, that would be yeah. sick. Imagine, imagine though, if that was the um, you know, if that was like the failed mechanic. It's not a complete wipe, but it's gonna make your fight really hard. And depending on who it like takes over you know it could be straight rng where and i know people would complain about it. i mean it's almost going to be a wipe if it gets a healer or a support role right if it's not broken out but imagine right. if it got like your your dps or something and it was a sork and he was streaking around it literally turned into the and the player could mm -hmm. actually like maybe so the player also to keep themselves alive that gets transformed they get a separate skill bar maybe just like a basic three bar ability thing and they also need to dps the team but obviously like you don't you wouldn't want it to stay alive right or is a your white teammate or whatever. becomes one of the ads so yeah 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 but you can actually control the ad too if you're the person that that flips right but you want to be strategic so like i'm not going to go after you jen because you're a healer cougar right mm -hmm. i would go after like one of the tanks or whatever and i'd have to do like a three skill thing too as well or i die i die alone like some kind of sustaining thing where if i die and i don't like parse on my own teammates as the bad guy i it's a wipe so i need to pick the tank or whatever obviously and make the tank's job easier pick the off tank there could be some sort of strategy where like the off tank goes off to the side with the transformed person and the transformed person or mind controlled person has to continue to parse on the on the on your team too because if that person doesn't keep going that is a wipe right and obviously that can get very difficult and cumbersome if you keep missing like the three person mechanic or whatever like Bob mentioned. I think that would be literally like That would so be pretty fun. awesome. That I mean that might be like a last boss kind of thing, but um that would be pretty awesome actually because you could you know uh I think in Vhof um if somebody dies basically you get like the ad and you have to DPS that ad um yeah, so totem of yeah the same class. so it'd be, yeah, get a copy. It'd be imagine kinda... the replay value of that though yeah people would want to just run that just to be the bad guy or to kill like, yeah. yeah yeah exactly. Yeah, no imagine, i would run it over as, i would like, never 
yeah. yeah. Imagine <laughs> over like and a over. healer gets taken and now like okay i've got my toolkit and i might not be a dps but i can turn around and like now i'm working with like the boss and i'm healing the boss so like now the team has to like focus me down yeah whatever it could be class before i heal the boss back to full health you know um or yeah. actually um at going off of what jen was saying with the healing um how about if it could be like random like the three bar uh setup that you have when you get turned it could be you you might uh, be a tank you might be a healer or you might be a dps and that oh, actually so give you yeah tins. it forces yeah, like you, you get like a, a set bar yeah it forces you to play to potentially play a class that you're not playing so and then there's replay in that because there'll be like yeah. an achievement to be like be the tank be, be the, the healer, healer be the know? dps exactly yeah. um that would be pretty cool i would be all up on that <laughs> Oh, we'd be doing it all day. Yeah, it'd be so, it'd be fun. so much like, fun. People would want it. It would be a lot of fun. Yeah. RNG based, but fits the theme lore mm -hmm. with, with everything. Like that'd be it'd be a new concept, new yeah. like. It, it would have a lot of replay value. I guarantee yeah. you, it'd be it'd be my favorite trial. Like in a twelve man, it would be hard. Like obviously, the replay is keep playing it, keep playing it, keep playing mm -hmm. it because who it's gonna grab would like you know it. You could play it a hundred times and you might not have been grabbed, so that would take a long time. And you could potentially have it to where it's like a little bit harder to 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 not do that three man mechanic. Mm -hmm. So the the mechanic happens. Um, you know, it would be a, a little bit harder, and I don't know, maybe maybe it's for like thirty seconds or a minute. I, another thing that I was thinking about um, when I think JP said that we had to basically kill the the person or was it you Bob that said that no it was JP it was JP mm -hmm. um I mean that's that's another thing like you would have to kill your own teammate like basically the boss will be vulnerable like you couldn't DPS the boss you have to kill your your own teammate first and then you can go back to the boss or you could it could be like something where the boss isn't invulnerable um you then make a decision as a team does it make sense right now to go after our teammate or to keep pushing the boss mm -hmm. like do we have to do this or can we play like this man down with what they're doing to us you know yeah um there could be another mechanic to like quickly free them so say you're playing that mechanic but your team's pushing a no death so you don't mm -hmm. want to kill your teammate um you could have to like leave that fight send like free people off down this hallway to go find the page to free their mind oh okay okay i see that yeah yeah that way you don't have the deaths yeah actually that yeah that makes sense jen that way like you don't have to kill them but you do have to like leave with three people yeah to go. so now you've got like yeah. a portal group they have to go and do something else complete a step free yeah. that person come back start the fight and they and then like you know it could be rng like he could grab somebody again in the fight or it could be health based or you know if like like Bob started it off. If you didn't grab like enough lore books along the way, like in DSR, like the rune boxes, you know, mm -hmm. you're fighting this boss and at any time, like his mechanic is he could grab somebody where if you grabbed all the pages, your minds are like fortified and that won't happen. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's a good, uh, that's that's a good boss fight right there in, in mm -hmm. itself. I think that would be maybe a last boss situation, <laughs> you know, that way. You... And it fits, it fits with the lore too like in the in the the cinematic video that they released mm -hmm. to announce necrom you've got that uh, that horned guy and he like takes over that crowd of like monks mm -hmm. and turns them all into like his allies you know and you could have it towards like in the just all like on um, in the trial itself um even in ads where somebody gets taken control um and you basically have to kill this you know particular ad to to free them and you know mm -hmm. get the page out of their their thing you know like basically a page drops out when when their soul is like perished so you well yeah. it wouldn't have it wouldn't have to kill them to ruin in the no death they just they don't die they just trans like once or you transform. lower their health bar they just turn back into your ally to oh a so it's like death. at a spot yeah so you can like yeah free them. I, yeah yeah it frees them i mean like not literally kill them but yeah make their health bar zero and then they transform like you're freeing their mind from the from, from, the bad from their bad guy yeah um i just want you to all to remember 
JP is the one that wants to grief the entire group. <laughs> <laughs> not true. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. And that's why it has to be like a random roll, like what role you become and yeah. what skills you have, because JP would DPS the whole team dead. <laughs> yeah, I, to be honest, I really like the whole, like, it could be a healer, tank, or DPS. That way mm -hmm. forces yeah. people to play other classes. And, um, you know, there will be achievement for that where, you know, you have, um, like, there's a title involved, you know, at the end. Um, and yep. Yep. with, like, be a, be a healer, like, uh, be a DPS, be a tank, and then there's a title when you finish all three and then finish the trial. Um, yeah. And, I mean, we could have it to where um, that mechanic happens through all of the bosses. And... It's it, something it's, you have to fortify, like, throughout. Like, you have to keep, like, yeah. collecting pages or it's, you lose teammates. Exactly. Yeah. Because there has to be a reason, too, for your teammate to actually do their job in that role. So mm -hmm. say, like, I got taken and I became the healer. Well, the team's like, well, just ignore Jen. Just Jen, don't heal the boss. We'll just keep pushing. No, so you would die. Like, That's what you I would saying. die. Yeah, you would die. You would like, die. That'd be a wipe. Yeah. That would be a okay. wipe. You have to. Yeah. Or yeah, that's what, what I was they saying. What they can do is if if you don't do your job, it immediately takes somebody else after a certain time. So if I'm not applying heals to the boss, he's getting a buff where he can then turn around and like take a second person. Oh yeah, that's you know? good. Yeah. I like yeah. That too. Yeah, I mean, so if <clears throat> like say you become the healer, or if you become the tank, and you don't start like grabbing egg, egg grow from like off your teammates or something, um, then there's like a timer of like you have to be doing these what's on your bar before like another teammate gets taken. Yeah, and the and the tank um, basically they you know how you have to to taunt. Um, yeah, you would taunt a teammate basically and yeah i think the main mm -hmm. tank should that... be like taunt immune because he's got taunt on the boss yeah but like yeah you could taunt a teammate off them force that teammate to like be, be only, on you the only one that they can attack. exactly 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 yeah. um and i mean we could we could have it to where this happens like x amount like x amount of times in the fight like at certain percentages or have it to where um you know like voss where the the minis come out after a certain amount of time like you know every two minutes or so this happens or you could have a percentage base where you're guaranteed to before we go too much further too i just want to make sure zoss knows that they can send royalties to cougar city <laughs> dude they send royalties. just give us cougar town back you yeah dorks. Yeah, yeah just give us cougar town F you microsoft <laughs> Dude, that was such a painful time when when we had to change the guild name. That's it was unfortunate. Yeah, that was silly. But what was the original one? Fluffy Rabbit or something? No, what was it? Faithful oh, the Rabbit or something? Us, yeah. Faithful, ra oh, faithful was, Rabbit. Faithful Rabbit. I don't know. Rabbit or I don't know. Or faithful Duck. Faithful Rabbit. No, it was a rabbit. rabbit. It was a rabbit. It was the <laughs> damn bunny. Faithful Rabbits. We were Faithful Rabbits or something. Like <laughs> For a day. For a minute. <laughs> Oh my god, that was... I would've just kept that. <laughs> it was... I, I, I wanted it. I liked it. <laughs> it was so dorky though, Bob. It was so dorky. That's the point. I would've kept it just because it was dorky. Well, maybe next time, like, I don't know, Sauce decides to get a... Uh, something in their butt, you know. That... <laughs> we'll, we'll get something else. Um, I know. Dude, just give RPT a guild tabard. And just let them like join a bunch of like random pug groups, dude. We'll get a name change for sure. <laughs> Low bro, too soon. Oops, too, too soon. soon. Too soon. Oh man. Um, I mean, I really do like the going back to to the to the trial stuff. I really do like the um, the whole knowledge in mind uh, thing. Um, that fits yeah. perfectly with it. That's that was it. Really good yeah. Idea. So Bob is over here. He's the lore dude. Um. So, tell us, tell us more, Bob. Come on, we gotta feed off you a little bit more. Wait, I have another idea too, though. Oh, okay, so RP. <laughs> Bob can go with the lore, though. Okay. I like listening to Bob talk about lore. I wish Bob would t read me bedtime stories at night. Uh, you want an ASMR style? <laughs> oh, Bob, you could totally do a channel where you just read lore books out of the game in ASMR. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. I would subscribe to that. No guild event, lore night with Bob and weaving, dude. 
<laughs> oh my god. I mean, I would give up. I'd give up my Friday night, like for Jesus. that. There's <laughs> almost thirty years of it. There's plenty of it out there. Uh, what's your What's your idea, JP? So I really like the way that Vatistran is split into different paths, and I would mm -hmm. like to see a multi-path, not two paths, but three paths or four paths, and depending on which path you chose, or you could split groups into paths, mm -hmm. it, you would gain different knowledge of the trial or whatever, or some sort of buff. Oh, that's yeah. cool. I think that would be, yeah, wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Like, like your trials you experience want... could be different depending on which path you went. Yeah. yeah, or how your team was comped. Like if you're a mag team, you want to go this way. If you're melee, you'd want to go this way. And maybe you gain knowledge or a buff at the end of like a section. And then you go back and come to a central area. Kind of the way that Vatistran is set up, but in a trial like setting and maybe a little more complex. So if you I choose it... one, are the other paths then yeah. blocked? Uh, no, they're all open. It just depends so on which can, one like, you go. Either split the team and get all of them, or all take one. But like when you regroup, you can't then go back and like do other paths. No, you only have so many paths. Like you're never gonna get like they did it with like Vatistran, mm -hmm. where like you get a certain like a grappling hook, and then if you get the grappling hook, you use that to get this, and like you don't get all the little like shard thingies. But just think Vatistran for everyone who's done it, but imagine it in a trial format, and then you come back to like a base area, but yeah, you could split the group if you were strong enough. Um, I feel like it would be really hard to pug that though, because like imagine everyone in a yeah. random group, but but I think it would be really cool to, re a little extra reward for organized groups and to incentivize like organized like trial play. You know, it's definitely something you'd want to do. I feel like the new dungeon is going to be like that too. The Scribes of Fate with saving the like treasure maps and stuff and mm -hmm. the keys. So that's going to like incentivize you to do it in a four man group and save your keys. I feel like something like that. I mean, you could still make it obtainable, you know, like completable without doing it, but it's something that really like an extra, you know, maybe, yeah, so maybe it's, it's like a there's better... a group of ads in there or something, but nothing's going to one shot anybody. So if your tank is in a different group, it's still achievable. Yeah. No, but I mean like the organizational aspect, imagine yeah. trying to, I mean, you can barely get like people to wear certain sets in a pug or do, do max a certain way in a, in a pug group. But imagine though, if a group can, if you completed it in a certain order, um, with certain buffs and if you did it like you know it's like a there's multiple ways to complete it right but if you did all the ways like all the different paths like maybe your skin was like better you know something for like prog groups to work towards i mean you still get yeah. it if you complete it or whatever the reward is but like if you went path a and path b this time and then next time it's like c and d or like different combinations of them there's a certain combination so again like more replayability and you're also rewarding like the organized teams a little more you're incentivizing people to like join an organized group because you can get more and you're not taking away from like the aspect of it you can always beat it on normal or just like the regular vet sequencing i think that would be like really fun too so basically um have it to where you do get a skin after you finish the trial you know the first time whichever mm -hmm. path you take but let's say the next time you go in there you take a different path um and then you get like a layer on top of the skin yeah um, or it's shinier or, you know shinier or something and yep. then the next time you go in there the other path that you didn't take that completes all three paths mm -hmm. that, you're that's, building an aesthetic yeah. feature okay. Okay. wouldn't that be cool yeah the first skin yeah. you get the left arm the next skin you get the right arm <laughs> well i mean maybe not that like have it to where it's you build just, the skin you know, by limb <laughs> it that act, like a body that's actually cool because you're building you're building a uh an aesthetic stuff like that's you're building a skin yeah you're yeah. building now, a skin. what if what if they took these dungeons where we're saving these keys mm -hmm. and they put that you have to save up a certain number of keys to get to us like a secret side boss inside the trial for some oh yeah. Awesome. Ooh, yeah. yeah yeah that's so cool yeah that would be pretty cool too um like everybody has and to like, like everybody in the group has to have like enough of them yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. Else has like, I have 10 keys, you know, a lot of MMOs have done that, you know, you mm -hmm. go do this, you know, event to get a key once a week to go open up the trial. But you, in this case, it wouldn't be restricting you from the trial. It's just restricting you from, from that, that secret boss. Area. What would, yeah, secret what, um, what reward would you give out though? Um, I, I would say like a moment. 
<clears throat> like a what? Like a mount. Oh, a mount. Ooh. Ooh. Something aesthetic. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not a pay to win item, but like a like like Can I get a like Hermaeus Mora mount? mount? <laughs> or maybe even a housing item, like a statue or or a, a library or like a, a interaction interactive library uh a bookshelf that you could click on and Hamaris comes out. Wait, actually I got it. Hold on. A mythic for your armory guy. For your armory companion that allows you the to then use your armory station in content like PC, oh, like the PC go. dressing room. But it's a mythic. You put it on your armory, dude, and you have to do that quest. Like it's it's extensive. It's probably one of the longest. I mean, you're talking mo like I, I envision like you know it's a long prog, let alone like mm -hmm. whatever. It's something you really have to earn. But once you earn it, then you can put a mythic on your armory guy or something like that, and it allows like you to um, do changes like in content, like PC can with dressing room, right? I mean, mm -hmm. if they would allow that, that would be cool. I would, I would think say... about it. It's not pay to win because you have to. I mean, yeah, I they make they should money because you allow have... it because PC has dressing room. Well, <laughs> no, I because mean... it's pay to win. Then yeah, they, they would consider it pay to win. But what if you made a PVE achievement on top of it? So yeah, yep. they win because you still have to buy the armory guy right mm -hmm. for five thousand crowns or whatever it is. But then you have to go do this like quest line to unlock it to be able to like let him make changes like in timed runs, and that's not paying to win you had to earn that like through some extensive quest thing like we were talking about like within there that's like a balance of 50 just 50. like one person in your group only have to be able to use him like you have the what? you you've got the achievements so you bring out your no, armor everybody it, could just like pop that's in a no, row i would make it account yeah character. i would make it account yeah. Not, yeah no that's not pay to win i earned that yeah i earned the right to be able to quick swap my gear obviously like Quick swapping your gear and stuff like that is only going to benefit like the top 5% anyways of the people that play this game. So, you know, that gives us something to work forward towards like your in-game groups, mm -hmm. mid to in-game groups, right? And then uh, like you can't really say that's pay to win. And if you if you as a player think it is and go find a team, go start a group. Like I want to I love incentivization of like group content group like play. Like that's not something you're going to walk in and like hug and do it on a weekend or whatever also you're i think it should be a lead um for the mythic item like it should be something. it could be yeah yeah that way it gives you like it gives the game like something else that you have to do if you ha if you haven't done the antiquity system like that's something that you have to do in order to mm -hmm. obtain it's that behind, yeah, it's, it's behind, behind a that. bunch of game content yeah. a bunch of mm -hmm. other stuff so it, besides paying for the thing like you you still have to do tons of other stuff and it and yeah it should be ridiculously mm -hmm. hard and i wouldn't want to hear people like complain about it yeah it's gonna take you six months or something to work on like you know that was one of the rewarding things about other mmos like big long grindy achievements are actually kind of fun because like it feels really good like when you get it like we gotta exactly. stop with this like instant gratification like gen z like mm -hmm. nonsense like i want to run through every achievement in eso and like two months and that i'm like done with their game like if you really want like crazy stuff like that like you know make it a grind and you can tell people it's extremely hard it's like a legendary quest achievement mythic lead or something like you could what talk you, about it like make that well known those leads up like they did with the with the wolf mount behind a whole bunch of different content like every yeah that would work too lead, yeah every panel yep. in the game gets a lead into it and you have to you know and you have to do every trial or um, including Craglorns, bring them back to the Craglorns and DSA and Black Rose and put everything in the in the group content. Like a trial oh, conqueror yeah. achievement or yeah. something, yeah, mm -hmm. to get it. Mm -hmm. be really and now good. you have now you have like thirteen pieces. You got to go, uh, you know, farm uh, and dig up in different areas of the world to then put together this mythic like they did with it the gives world. replay value yeah. too because they talk about so like the end game would benefit the most and a lot of people once they took like you know the big argument about a title titles being account wide now what's the point i can i have you know like planesbreaker on all my characters well now like that would incentivize some people to come back like on console like obviously i we're only speaking in the context of console because like it would do nothing so i don't know if they'd put it into the game because that's the only like negative right well pc would it mm -hmm. really incentivize them to do anything because they already have it but it would definitely be from a console perspective. Like, yeah, it'd make people come back and want to get it. 
Like, well, I mean, I, I still think that's that's doable. Also, building up on what Bob was saying where, like, you know, it would be a mount. Bob, what about we take it a step further and, um, like, have it to where, you know, when in Voss, you get the room box for the, for the polymorph. The mount is the room box, basically. Um, but, <clears throat> but it's to give you a little bit of a sense of accomplishment as well. That way, like, yeah, the mount is what you want to have, obviously. Um, but you could have different, um, like, furniture items that are not bound that can drop. Like, you'll get a guaranteed drop. Now, the table is going to be, the, the looting table is going to be, you know, X amount of furnishings. Um, it could be, like, there could be a costume behind there, too. The amount is obviously like the the gold reward, but you could have it to where um, <clears throat> you have blue furniture that could drop, uh, purple furniture that could drop, and then uh, gold furniture, and then the the mount, um, or it could be a mount in a costume or mount costume in a skin. Well, that to build way. upon upon <clears throat> like what you're saying too, um, you could do like what the events currently do. Like if you get this piece, you can morph it into this. Like yeah, after you build yeah. enough of it, yeah, yeah. But uh, the furniture, like it would be pretty cool furniture because obviously if you're spending keys to go and do this secret boss, like it needs to be something very cool. Um, but I want it to not be bound. That way, like people have a chance to sell that if you're not a furniture nut, you know um like me yeah so you would have some some way to 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 get that off your hands if you want for gold mm -hmm. that way like the keys are not a waste um so if you're chasing that that mount mm -hmm. or that skin or or the costume or whatever like big is gonna be at the end kind of like the room box uh the clockwork polymorph you still have something because i mean for Voss, like when you polyform, or you could just like choose to refund your keys and re-roll next time. Um, eh, I don't know about that. I th I think, I think the keys should be spent. To be honest, like I don't I don't think getting keys should be, um, like getting back keys should be a thing. I think it should be like spent, and then you get the X thing from the loot table and then um there's a champion point that um that says like increases the amount of gold and it, you know you have a chance to get a another furnishing plan or whatever from it um they could add a champion point where you get double drops or something and or you have to go do this thing in the, in the trial and you have a chance to get double drops in that boss or if you spend like instead of one key, if you spent five keys, you have a chance to get double drops on that boss, mm -hmm. something like that. So that would be that would be pretty cool. I do like that idea. I I wish they would do that actually. Uh, Bob, do you, okay. So Bob has has all the juicy uh, things. Bob, are you sure you're like not working for Cinemax right now, like on the download? <laughs> Like, if I am, my paycheck is missing. It's been missing. <laughs> Dude, the like they should hire you. <laughs> they no. should hire you, man. Like you come up with some great stuff, like lore, lore content. It's amazing, dude. So, let's go. More, more ideas, Bob. I've always liked. I mean, if we're just talking about like mechanics and stuff. Yeah. Like I've everything. always liked. You know, when Cloud Rest came out, that hug mechanic was the first time we saw that. Mm -hmm. And they've kind of somewhat played around with hug mechanics in, in, other in the other trials as well. Or the, um, but what if we had um, a hug mechanic where it was, you you had to hug with like, the, the team got split. Okay. And, um, and it was random. And like, if your screen turns blue, you gotta, you know, hug with everybody that has a blue screen. If your screen turns, you know, gray or red, you gotta hug with everybody that, that has red. Um, and do that within, uh, I don't know, do that some kind of how in, in, in a mechanic, but it's all random. 
How would like you, you can't you can't just split like in like in VSS where you mm -hmm. know all oh, like we've a predetermined spot like all the we're, reds we're are going to meet yeah, here yeah, all the blues meet there exactly it oh, won't be okay. okay it's RNG based <clears throat> it just mechanic happens he casts a spell and you have to go find all your buddies how would you like how would you find like the the characters would like turn blue or red basically. Well, I mean, there, there would have to be something on screen as well. But for you, you would see like your screen would turn a different color, right? Mm -hmm. But there, there would have to be some something on the on the on the screen, It'd be underneath your feet or something, similar to what what you have on the um, MV mall or, or DSR, yeah, yeah, DSR with or yeah, V mall, um, you know, something to indicate, you know, this is where I need to go because this is where everybody's at and, and stack, but. Um, I don't know. Just, just expand that hug mechanic because I think that makes people think quick on their feet mm -hmm. inside a mechanic, and would be challenging. No, I, I think that's actually a very, very good mechanic, and it will teach people to be quick too. Like you said, um, that dude, that's actually a good idea. You know, I mean, obviously there there has to be some way to like know, hey, like this teammate is is blue or you know red or whatever color they they choose to make it. Um, no, some some good ideas uh, so far, but uh, we're we're gonna be winding down here. This is gonna be a short one. Um, we'll have a longer one next time. Um, I do want to to give a couple of shout outs to our Cougar City Boosters. Uh, Cougars Bay, myself, Scoring Music 09, X Reading X, and Merc 271. Um, we have the Cougie Madness, guys. Um, 312 is going to be Imperial City Hide and Seek. That's very fun. 319 is Vardenfell Sky Shards. Uh, 326, Western Skyrim Dolmens. And then 4-2 uh, is going to be the Potato Hunt and a Costume Contest. Um, we also have a couple of shout outs. Um, Mac Pickle has been doing an amazing job just promoting um, the Discord for us on, on text chat. And then Hades and Ivory have been doing really well with the normal trials in the weekends, which <clears throat> the those are every weekend at 4 p.m. Eastern. Um, you don't have to have any experience or CP. Um, it doesn't matter. All, all are welcome. So make sure you guys sign up through the Discord on that. Um, do you guys have anything else you would like to, to add? Nothing from me. Yeah. But, uh, JP, you want to nope. add? Nope. Bob, have somebody pay you for, for your ideas from Cinemax? JP had, JP had some great ideas today. So did Jen. We all, yeah, have, we all have good ideas. We, get, we should all get royalties. Dude, I, I wish we could. I wish we could definitely design, um, you know, a trial. It would be cool if Cinemax does, like, a contest where, like, you know, the winners design a trial for, for Cinemax and have them, like, you know, put that to life. That would be cool. But, but um, thanks, you guys, for watching, and have a good night.